Yeah, feeling really good. Um, really happy we got the win. Um, I think second half wasn't the prettiest of performances and it was actually quite nerve wracking watching on the side after it came off. But uh, when Sid scored the second goal, I think the game was over and look really happy um, that we won. Really happy to score um, my first goal for the club. And yeah, it's just nice to get the three points. Thanks, Jody. We're going to start with Julia Poe. Hey Jody, thanks so much for the time and congrats on the goal and the win. Um, it seemed, especially in the first half, that you guys were, you know, still very transitional, but a little more patient, a little bit co more confident on the ball. Uh, what was kind of the feeling from your perspective, just in terms of that patience when you were in the transition uh, positions? Yeah, I think first half. Um, you know, I think at first we struggled to get out of our half a little bit. I think we were a little deeper than what we would have liked to, but. Um, you know, it took a little time for us to figure out where the pockets of space were. And like you said, it was nice that we were able to be patient with the ball and, and build up a little bit. And um, I think that's kind of how my goal came about. And um, we kind of caught them off guard. They had a bit of a high line, um, which we recognised and we were able to get in the score. We'll go to Dan Loletta. Thanks, hey, Jody. How much this week uh, was the team more reflective of kind of Becky Burley's vision as opposed to the first week, which was probably a little bit more helter skelter all over the place. Yeah, of course, obviously with a new manager coming in, new coach, uh, it takes time, doesn't it, to figure out what they want, what the philosophy is, what the style is, what they expect of the players. Um, so I think with every session we're building and, you know, I think that did show today, um, especially first half. Um, but it just takes time, doesn't it? So I think for us to get three points on the road away from home is a really big achievement. And, you know, I'm just so impressed with the grit and determination of this group. It's incredible to see. We'll go to Mike Gramajo. Hey, Jody. Uh, congrats on the win and um, that first goal uh, to open your scoring account. I'm kind of just following up on that question. What was mentioned a lot after last game was the confidence that Becky kind of brought to the team. Uh, obviously, with this win, it, it pays. It, it definitely helps with the with the confidence. But how, how do, I don't know if you can kind of just in a way kind of elaborate on how the first and second week has kind of seen the seen the team kind of grow in confidence and how does that kind of help with the um with the getting the win today yeah i think since becky's come in and uh, we've played a lot more we've had a lot more freedom in in the way that we play in the way that we train which i think is important especially when we have had a, a few new players in myself included it takes time for players to gel and connect on the pitch and in order to do that you do need a bit of freedom and, and just to play to read each other and I think that's kind of what what we've had the last couple of weeks, um, which I think has shown it's been it's been positive and it's shown in the games. Got a couple more. We'll go to Luis Carlos Pineda. Uh, hi, Jody. Uh, congrats on the win and your first goal um, of the season. What were some of the main differences uh, with the Orlando Pride in attack uh, today from previous games you've been? Uh, well, I, I've only been here a few weeks, so it's a bit hard to comment. Um, you know, I think obviously l last week we played a little bit of a different formation um, and I, I had a bit more support from Sid last game, um, but it was a different challenge. We were up against obviously North Carolina last week, you play a box midfield. Um, so it was a different challenge, but uh, I think today we, it shows we are growing a bit in confidence, even though we were under the cosh for you know, a large part of the second half, I don't, I still don't think it phased us. And, and in the end, we still had the confidence to play. We still had the confidence to keep the ball and, and we, we created another goal late on. So, you know, it, it's been, it's been really positive so far. And I hope that we just keep building. And we'll go back to Julia for our final question. Jody, as you're spending more time with Becky, what is kind of her messaging to the strikers specifically, just in terms of how she would like to see you play, how, how she kind of wants to see that position group look? Yeah, with Becky, obviously it's, it's early on. We When you break it down, we haven't had that many sessions. Um, we've played two matches and we've had a handful of trainings. And, um, you know, I think that the priority has been more about keeping the ball and building out. Uh, I, you know, like I said before, we have had a lot of freedom uh, to express ourselves and we've got quality players. We, you know, we've got Sydney LaRue, she's phenomenal. We've got Marta, who's back in today, she's phenomenal. Uh, I'm up there helping and um, we've still got Alex Morgan to come back against. She's phenomenal. So, you know, I, I think when it comes to the attack, I think there's a lot of belief and confidence in the, in the group to be able to have the freedom and express ourselves. And it's about the connections. And I think that's what Becky's brought. And, you know, she's brought a very um, positive and motivational mindset, which I think is rubbing off really well on the team. Thanks, 